Hi kids, I'm Teacher Pat. Are you ready to learn fantastic? Our topic is Ability of materials to block, absorb, or transmit light to their use. But before we start, let us know first the meaning of the following words. First is black. It is a compact, usually solid piece of substantial material, especially when worked or altered to serve a particular purpose. Next is absorb. Take in or soak up energy or a liquid or other substance by chemical or physical action. And last is transmit. To transfer, pass, or spread from one person or place to another. Now, I will read the statement. And after this, I will give you three guided questions. The title is Too Much Light Bright lights threaten more than stargazing For some wildlife, it's a matter of light and death Light pollution, which is the excessive or obtrusive artificial light can affect ecosystem in many ways For example, it blocks bugs from navigating their way, disorients birds, and misdirects turtles and frogs. Now, these are the guided questions. Number one, what are the bad effects of excessive use of artificial light? Very good! The bad effects of excessive use of artificial light is light pollution next number two what does the expression a matter of light and death mean that's correct the expression a matter of light and death is light has good and bad effects and number three how can we preserve our ecosystem that's great! We can preserve our ecosystem if we use artificial light properly. Now, how light interacts with different materials? Visible light or simply light is the light that is visible to the human eye. Optics is the study of the reflection, refraction, absorption, and transmission of light. Reflection refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects with flat and smooth surfaces like mirrors reflect light in a straight and predictable way. Some objects with an even surfaces, like rocks, reflect light in a scattered way. Next is refraction. Refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. For example, the straw in a glass of water appears bent because of the different parts of the material that interact with light. Next is absorption. Absorption refers to the materials taking in of light and not reflecting it back. Example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. Next is transmission. 
Transmission refers to passing of light through some materials. Different materials have different ways of transmitting light, like transparent material. It allows light to transmit easily. The glass window, thin cloth, and clear plastic are examples of a transparent material. Next is the translucent material. It is the material permits some light to transmit because most of it is spreading in the opposite side and some are being absorbed. A car with tinted window is an example of translucent material. And last is the opaque material. It does not allow light to transmit. The light is absorbed and reflected. The pieces of wood, book, and aluminum foil are examples of opaque materials. Now, let's see if you really understand our lesson. Let's have an activity. Direction Classify the following materials as transparent, translucent, or opaque. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Sort me out. Eyeglasses, water bottle, plastic cup, wood blocks, thin curtains, frosted window, wooden door, sunglass lenses, clear glass window, and colored cellophane. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.